Welcome to Beth Gemal or Jamal. Shalom, good people. How are you? This is Veronica. I'm grateful that you are here with me. In today's video, we are touring uh, Beit Jamal. These are two Hebrew words, Beit and Jamal. And the first word, Beit, it means house. And Jamal or Gamal, it is Gamaliel. So it means it's the house of Gamaliel. And who was Gamaliel? We are going to look, we are going to find out who was Gamaliel in the Bible. And so we are visiting Acts chapter 5. That is where we can find Gamaliel, the name Gamaliel mentioned in the book of Acts chapter 5. So let's tour the place. It's a monastery. And the same place, uh, that is where Stephen, Saint Stephen, the first Christian Matea, Matea, the first Christian Matea was buried. If you can remember the story, the story of Stephen being stoned in the temple in Jerusalem and Outside, he was taken, he was stoned outside the city gates at uh, Lion's Gate. I did a video about it. By the end of this video, I'm going to, to put a link of it so that you can understand more better where we are. And uh, why Gamaliel? Why was Stephen buried at the house or the place of Gamaliel? Gamaliel. Gamaliel was a rabbi or the teacher of the law by then during the time of Stephen's stoning he was or during the time of the apostles Gamaliel was a, a rabbi a respected rabbi during the time and so and he loved the apostles and we can see this in the book uh, from the book of Acts chapter 5 whereby the Pharisees, the Pharisees wanted to kill the, the apostles after, because they were preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. And Gamaliel stood up in the temple and told them to stop, to rethink about their decision to kill the apostles. So he was a good uh, teacher of the law and he loved the apostles. Although he was a teacher of the law of Moses, or he was a Jewish uh, teacher of the law. Uh, let us read uh, the book of Acts chapter 5. The book of Acts chapter 5 starts with the story of Ananias, Sapphira, the wife. But we are not going to read about the story of Ananias and Sapphira. We are going to start from verse 28. We are going to start, no, let's start from verse, let's see, 25. Then someone came and said, look, the men you put in jail are standing in the temple courts, teaching the people. At that, the captain went with his officers and brought the apostles. They did not use force because they feared that the people would stone them. The apostles were brought in and made to appear before the Sanhedrin to be questioned by the high priest. We gave you strict orders not to teach 
in this name. He said, yet you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching and are determined to make us guilty of this man's blood. Peter and the other apostles replied, we must obey God later than human beings. The Lord of our ancestors raised Jesus from the dead, whom you killed by hanging him on a cross. God exalted him to his own right hand as prince and savior, that he might bring Israel to repentance and forgive their sins. We are witnesses of these things, and so is the Holy Spirit whom God has given to those who obey him. When they heard this, they were furious and wanted to put them to death. But a Pharisee named Gamaliel, and we are in his homestead. This was the home of Gamaliel. Although he had another home in, uh, in Jerusalem, because he was a teacher of the Lord there, but outside Jerusalem, he had a farm, a, a farmhouse. But a Pharisee, a Pharisee named Gamaliel, a teacher of the law, who was honored by all the people, stood up in the Sanhedrin and ordered that the men be put outside for a while. Then he addressed the Sanhedrin, men of Israel, consider carefully what you intend to do to this to this man some time ago Theodas appeared claiming to be somebody and about 400 men lailed him he was killed all his followers were dispersed and it all came to nothing after him Judas the Galilean appeared in the days of the census and led a herd of people in revolt. He too was killed and all his followers were scattered. Therefore, in the present case, I advise you, leave these men alone. Let them go. For if their purpose or activity is of human origin, it will fail. But if it is from God, you will not be able to stop these men. You will only fight yourselves fighting against God. His speech persuaded them. They called the apostles in and had them flogged or beaten. Then they ordered them not to speak in the name of Jesus and let them go. The apostles left the Sanhedrin rejoicing because they had been counted worth of suffering, disgrace for the name. Day after day, in the temple courts and from the house to house, they never stop teaching and proclaiming the good news that Jesus is the Messiah. Here, they remember St. Stephen's Matthew. So that was Gamariel, Beit Jamal. Thank you. Most of all, since our father said to us that uh, this was the property of our Rabbi Gamariel, so we can understand why it is called uh, Beit uh, Jamal or Jamal. So Jamal refers to Gamariel, and Beit is a Hebrew word referring to house. So in other sense, we can call this place as the house of Gamaliel, okay? Or the home of Gamaliel. Since Gamaliel is very significant in this place, this is his property, I would like to share to you uh, a particular passage in the Bible that talks about him. And we can learn from the Bible that Gamaliel is one of a brilliant religious council. And I believe these days we need more brilliant uh, Christian or religious counselor so that they can guide us and lead us, especially 
to be more closer to God and so that we can live rightly and righteously. So where is the passage? In uh, Acts chapter 5, reading verse 33 onwards, if you have your Bible. But uh, before reading verse 33, allow me to read you the passage in Acts 5, 29, so we can get a clear picture why Gamaliel gave a wonderful piece of advice to the Pharisees in those days. Now it says here in verse uh, 29 of Acts chapter 5, Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, uh, Let me begin in verse 28. Saying, Did not we straightly command you that ye should not teach in this name, that's in the name of Jesus Christ, and behold, ye have filled Jerusalem with your doctrine and intend to bring this much blood upon us. So what is this? The apostles of the Lord Jesus Christ, especially Simon Peter, keeps on preaching in Jerusalem about the Lord Jesus Christ. And what is the response of the Pharisees? They were so enraged, they persecuted the apostles of the Lord Jesus Christ, and they prevent them from preaching more about the Lord Jesus Christ. But the answer of Simon Peter is this, and then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than men. You men, religious men, you want us to stop teaching about Jesus Christ. But who should we obey? You or God? But the answer of the apostles is, we ought to obey God rather than you, Pharisees, religious men. And then verse 13, The God of Father's grace of Jesus, whom you slew and hang on a tree, him had God exalted with his right hand to be the to be a prince and a savior, for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. Now, I want you to notice that part. You know what? The central message of the apostles is the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And together with the Lord Jesus Christ, the substance of the message that they have, the preaching that they have, is all about Christ as the savior of the world. And Simon Peter and the rest of the apostles, they wanted to inform the people the right way of salvation. And it's all about Jesus Christ. That's why we have John 14, 6. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man coming unto the Father except for me. So if you are not going to pass with Jesus Christ, if you're not going to believe in Jesus Christ, you will never obtain the free gift of eternal life. That's why I challenge you. And we are His witnesses of these things. And so is also the Holy Ghost whom God had given to them that obey Him. Why the apostles, like Simon Peter, is unstoppable in preaching about Jesus Christ? Because they saw Jesus Christ. They are living witnesses of Jesus Christ. Because they saw Jesus Christ, they cannot help themselves but to tell the people about the truth about Jesus Christ. So, kaya ganda lang sila sa ating mga and then, because of this, verse 33, when they heard that, they were cut to the heart and the counsel to slay them. Who is these people who wanted to kill apostles, especially Simon Peter, the Pharisees, the religious group of Pharisees? So they want to kill them. They stood there up one in the council, a fancy. So when they are having a plan to kill Simon Peter, there's someone who stood up in the reeds. And there we go. And his name is Gamaliel. His name is Gamaliel, the one who owned this property. Okay? And listen, his reputation, a doctor of the law. What law is that? The law of Moses in the Old Testament. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy, he mastered the law of Moses. Okay? Had in reputation among all the people and commanded to put the apostles for a little space. Now, in other words, Gamaliel said to, the, to his co pastors don't do things right away like that to kill the apostles. Put them in space. I mean, we need to think twice about your plans of killing these apostles and said to them, you men of Israel, take it to yourselves, be careful what you intend to do as touching this man, 
For before this days rose up Thaddeus or Judas, boasting himself to be somebody to whom a number of men, about four hundred, joined themselves who was slain, and all as many as obeyed him were scattered and brought to now. After this man rose up Judas of Galilee in the days of the taxing, and drew away man's people after him, he also perished, and all even as many as obeyed him were dis dispersed. And now I said to you, Refrain or stop from this man and let them alone. For if this is this for if this counsel or this work be of men, it will also come to now. But if it be the work of God, he cannot offer to it thus happily he found even the fight against God. What a wonderful counsel. Gamaliel said to his co Pharisees, Before there is two person who rise into religious power. Judas and Judas, they gained followers, but after some time we denied their followers came to nothing. And he is based on that illustration. If this man is the same thing, later on, they're going to punish. Mawawala itong mga followers ito. But if they're true servants of God, you will be found fighting against God. What a very wise counsel. And that's why he said, you have to refrain, be careful against this evil for our cause. Okay? My understanding is because verse 40, and to give, give with, so they can that. And so, Gamariel took the body of Saint Stephen and the tradition, the church tradition says that he was buried here at the home of Beit Jamal, the home of Gamaliel. Home of Gamaliel. How much is it? they selling the Bible? No, it's no, free. It's free. <gasps> you have to take the book there. You have to... How many? How many? How many books are they? This one with the Hebrew. It has two two languages, yeah. Hebrew and English. Yes. Yeah. But you don't know how to read Hebrew. Why do you carry? I have to understand the meaning. You can't. I can if you want. To. <laughs> yes, right, guys. You have to. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> so, thank you so much, good people. Welcome to the House of Beauty. House of Beauty? Yes, of course. Why House of Beauty? Why? With Jamal? Yes. From the Arabic word. Ah, Jamal is yes. beauty. Beauty, Jamal. And, and Beit. Beit, Beit I... Jamal, House of Beauty. Ah. But it's uh, for Gamaliel. Yes. It was uh, named after the Rabbi Gamaliel. The teacher of Stephen, the first Christian martyr. But he was not he was not Arabic. Who? Stephen? Of course. Gamaliel. Gamaliel. Yeah. He was not Arabic. No. Yes. He's a Jew. <laughs> yes. And Gamaliel is the teacher of Apostle Paul. Yes. Yes. That's why he is a brilliant teacher. The yes, yes. Is very respected by all. Correct. But he loved the apostles. Yes. Oh thank you so much good people. We appreciate you. Thank you so much, good people. I'll see you again in a few days' time as we continue to tour the Holy Land, the Bible live here with Veronica. I appreciate you. Ah, you need to see some some olives. Yeah, now it's the season of olives. This is an olive tree, and you can see the olives. 
olives the tree of life olives it's a beautiful place here at Beit Jamal Beit Jamal I understand is Arabic name meaning the house of beauty house of beauty Beit Gamal Beit Gamal the house of Gamaliel the teacher of the law Rabbi Gamaliel this is an old olive tree the wonders of olive trees they don't die they don't dry up when they dry up they start shooting again after a while and as you can see if you look at it it's it's very old and you can see it has it's very very fruitful huh? so you can still be fruitful at any age <laughs> yes you see this 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 is a green one in the same tree there is a purple or red whatever you call it are the same uh, yeah, they are green uh, olives and purple, purple olives or black, black uh, olives. Wow, see a single tree, how much fruits it has, how many olives it has. Wow. Imagine how much oil will come out of this just one single tree. You know you can you can soak olives in vinegar for a while and cover the container. Cover the container. Ah, put put water, mix with the vinegar and salt if you like uh, something kharif or pepe pepe you add then you cover for some days and i'm telling you you get some olives and they are so good eating the olives that are mixed with oil with vinegar bait jamal I appreciate your time good people <laughs> thank you so much I don't take your time for granted you are so important to me God bless you so much for choosing my channel please remember to press notification bell for more videos timely videos i upload videos every once a week so please put notification bell to know when i upload the video to be notified immediately i upload a video it's veronica from bet jamal what time do they open they open 8 30 in the morning until 11 and then 1 30 to 4 30 and sundays and christian feasts they are closed